Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how do we, uh, how how can we copy a variable, or what I can say is how do we clone a variable. Now we know we can use a generate command to generate a variable that is equal to another variable, but uh, why clone var, uh, which is clone variable? another set of another command that can be used to clone a variable is more uh, useful than just a generate command so for that let's uh, import a data set this is uh, analysis uh, w988 data set which contains uh, different uh, variable related to individuals their age race marriage status and their wage etc now let's just keep a few variable uh, that we are interested in. So we can remove certain clutter. So let's generate a age two that is equal to age, right? So what we are doing is we are trying to uh, copy a variable or replicate a variable. So this age two would be new variable that would have all the values similar to age. Now, once we do that, we do not find any differences in them, like they both are same, right? Except for one difference, and which is uh, age contains a label, whereas age two that we just created do not have a label. Now that's a minor change, but let's do that same uh, same exercise with this married variable. Now you can see that this married is a categorical variable that contains zero and one integers that uh, that are labeled as either single or married. So these are labels because we know that they are uh, blue. So there is a numerical data that is labeled with uh, with two characters, uh, two, in, two categories that is single and married. So let's generate a married to variable that is equal to married. And what would happen is that you can see that instead of getting this uh, single and married category, we are just getting those numbers that represent them. And what uh, and we haven't got the val, uh, you know, the variable label. So there are two kinds of labels, va variable label, right, and then value label. So what I'm trying to communicate over here is that we have lost the labeling or certain information when we are cloning this variable, right? We can assign label uh, values to this married to that uh, it would be equal to this married label and that would work. But again, uh, this uh, a, a more better approach, if you want to copy a variable is to use clone VR command rather than using generate command. So the syntax of clone VR is we write the command name and the name of the new variable that we want to generate, which should be equal to the old variable that we want to replicate. In this case, married or age and then we can use certain qualifiers uh, if and in qualifiers so let's do a clone variable so let's generate this married to variable again we are doing the same exercise except in this case instead of generate we are using the clone vr command you can see that it is the exact replication of this married variable we have got the value labels we have got the variable labels so if there were any nodes attached to those variables, then those would also be copied. So it copies everything related to the variable. It exactly creates a clone of a variable. Uh, we can also do certain uh, qualifiers. So example, uh, in the race two, uh, let, let us create a race two variable, uh, which would be a clone of race variable, but we, also, we, we, we only want to clone it if the age is greater than 40. So if you do that, you would see that it uh, it clones the variable, but only when the variable uh, age is greater than 40. We can do multiple categories, uh, multiple conditions. So now we are doing if age is greater than 40 and married status is equal to zero. So married zero means if the individual is a single, uh, right? It isn't married. So now we 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 get a race three variable which uh, is the clone of married uh, sorry race variable but uh, uh, it only clones it when these two conditions are met that is individual is having age greater than 40 and is a single 
We can also clone a variable uh, in certain range that is let's generate a race four, which would be equal to race variable, but uh, in row one to 10. So it would only clone it in row one to 10 and the rest would remain missing. And lastly, we can uh, do the same task using the menus. So we click on data, then create and change. And then we have over here other variables and uh, variable creation command and lastly we have this clone existing variable we write the new name the existing variable name and use if or in qualifiers so thanks for watching this video uh, do hit the subscribe button and do hit the bell icon